So Monterey Car Week is a, is a special time, uh, but Japanese design and heritage up to now really haven't been specifically celebrated. And we thought at Infinity, as we move towards our 30th anniversary next year, what an opportunity for us to celebrate Japanese heritage, Japanese design. We're obviously rooted in, uh, in Japanese culture as a Japanese brand, and we're very proud of that, and it uh, has a huge influence over what we do. But um, we thought bringing specific historical examples together would be exciting and very interesting and really kind of revolutionize what's happening here at, uh, at Monterey Car Week in Pebble Beach. We've never done this before, so it was a, a, an endeavor that we came up with uh, the idea about a year ago, and it took a lot of people and a lot of time. And finding cars that are his, this historically significant, it's not easy. It starts with um, the Infiniti Q45T. It's, a, it's an example of the flagship sedan for Infiniti that started our whole brand. It kicked off the brand back in 1989, and we've got an excellent example of that vehicle here. We also have an Infiniti FX, an original, which was significant in the sense that it created a new segment of S performance SUVs. So I think those two. There's also uh, a Toyota uh, 2000 GT, which uh, the example that's here was actually in a James Bond movie in 1967. And so that's a very historically significant automobile. But as you walk through, you'll see many examples of vehicles that were significant either in their own right or were design inspirations for other significant uh, design movements. And so that's what's so interesting is that there's so many different examples of design, of, um, of different uh, car genres, of different um, uh, types of vehicles that are here. Um, it's, it's really uh, something to behold. Pebble Beach Concours, the, the, the team was incredibly supportive. Uh, when we pitched this idea to them, they recognized that it was a genre that, that uh, deserved celebration, uh, it deserved focus, but also that fans of Japanese car culture uh, were underrepresented and it was a great opportunity to bring them to Pebble Beach. It was a new audience that uh, up to now hadn't really participated um, in, in Pebble Beach and Monterey Car Week and the Concours. And so they were really excited to be able to bring uh, Pebble and the Concours and the, the entire week to a new audience.